We are black. What? What's kill? What squad are we in? Blackjack? Yeah. No, we're, we're in killer. killer we're killer. Yeah, because we killer. Game, you know? Killer. What the? Oh, bad duck. Oh, never mind. He's just gonna walk through the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, we haven't started moving yet. Oh. oh yeah, there we go. Now we're moving. To the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now we're moving. <laughs> oh, that shit is fucking stupid. Oh, some ammo for me. All right, let me armor yeah, up. Let, let, wait, now I'm gonna throw a sensor grenade. I don't give a I'm fuck up. about your grenades. I'm up. All right, I think I just threw it off the building. No, it landed there. No, oh, okay. Well, I ain't sensing anybody. How is he not dead? Let's go. Oh, Elyon sensor grenade just fucking shitted on me. Oh, nice. There's a dog here I'm trying to kill. Dog and I are oh gonna go dude, take the tunnel. Feed. feed. How does it feel, huh? It feels really good. good. Not you, Elyon. Shut the You're fuck up. Jab by heel needles. Good. Give me the Double fuck. Double kill. Spawn. We're in the tunnel. We're taking the tunnel. I can use some ammo though, if anybody has yeah, some ammo. Oh, oh, holy shit. I'm running away. Oh my goodness. Wait, dude, it's so dark down here. My dog is up here. Oh, wait, somebody dropped him. Oh, what the hell? Get him, dog. Okay. I'll, I'll just be oh, the whole squad is here. Good. Oh, their whole squad is camping the, uh, the, uh, in the entrance. Yikes. Dude, there's more than just a squad. I got there, two. There's, there's a tank. There? There's a tank. Yeah. There's a tank literally pointed down the staircase, just shooting. Jesus. Oh shit. You, one, one went through. What? Hey, you're still alive, right, Elian? Alright, get me. Yeah, yeah, I'm still Please. alive. I'm hugging the left hey, knife, I'm calling in a dog and then we're going. The fuck am I flying in? My I'm already puppy. in there, like swimmer. Come on, puppy. No, actually, they might be coming up behind us, actually. Dog. Like our entire. All of our people died up oh. here. Yeah, I might need a revive. There we go, dogs in the I got tunnel. you, bro. Nice. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> as soon as I fucking went over there, the grenade blew up. Fucking. I got to see the kill feed and I got fucking blown up. Throw kill. Flank where, where they are? They're trying to flank the, uh, the entrance. Nah, dude, just keep. Get him, dog. Making yourself. Get in there. You're right. I'm reloading. How's that quick scoping going, Elyon? Uh, it actually worked. I got a kill. I j couldn't see anything because there were just 722 yeah. explosions. Yeah, no, I saw that. That was. <sighs> Why are there so many? Flash. Uh. On your left, right. Okay. Got him. I just dropped in. Oh, there's a dog! Where's Where? the dog? Oh, he's right there. Ah, he's right there! Dog versus dog. Dog versus dog. Oh, he's shooting. The dog's shooting at me. The dog is shooting at you. Yeah, yeah dude, there's the a dog. Boston, I, I died? The Boston Dynamics dog. The, the, tra the car exploded and he killed you. I'm on the Bezos testicle, guys. <laughs> nice. Oh, where is this other guy? I don't know, but I have a pretty neat spot, not gonna lie. Uh, somebody died I'm going somebody back up to the testicle. So I'm kinda scared. <laughs> the ball defenders. <laughs> Look where I am. <laughs> Wait, I wanna... Oh. You can like, I can like tuck myself deep in here. It sucks because I'm standing I, on nothing. It sucks because well, I have a vector. Into the testicles. No, this is perfect. If they ever come E, we got them. There, oh, there's a guy coming. There's a guy coming. Look at him. Look at him. He's clueless. I shot at him. He doesn't know I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. Hey, there's my dog. Wait, whose dog is that? Is that mine? That's One mine, I think. There's guys over there. Who's right here? Oh, he's on E! Look at him! He's on E! He doesn't know where he is! I headshot him, I headshot him, I headshot him. He's dead! 
<laughs> now they're gonna know. <laughs> nah, they're not gonna know yet. He's he's the only guy that knows. Oh, that tank. I'm gonna hide. I'm um, tucked in there like swimmer. Killed another one. Yeah, I'm rushing this guy. I don't fucking care. He's right What's here, up, me. fucker? He reloaded. I got him. I needed ammo. Another one. And a dog. What fucking gun is this? A PBX 45? Oh, that's just the SMG. Guys, I'm coming down. Help. Oh. Uh, you literally fell into the ground and then came back up for me. Got him. There's a dog looking at me though. I think that's my dog. No, it's their dog. Why is it not shooting at us? OH SHIT! <laughs> back to the testicle. Z-Man, move! You're blocking my testicle oh, shot. Oh shit, I missed my... Oh <laughs> no, I landed on the dog. Oh, I overshot it. So did I, I landed on the dog. I'm behind the dog. The dog's dead? Question mark? Yeah, there's no dog. I'm a good noodle. Oh shit, that's a bad guy over there. No anymore, he's dead. I got you, duck. Think, oh, did you miss? There's a dude straight across. Double kill. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that was a jet. Wait, how'd that guy live? Hold on, he just got hit with a jet in the face. And now, story time with Nick. So, we're all intimately familiar with the Wild Wild West, from the shootout at the OK Corral to the Prospector Saloon, images of sandy streets and tumbleweeds detail a landscape long since past. While old Arizona mining towns died out and cities boomed with their manufacturing potential, a new element emerged in humanity's ever-present need to revisit some of the most iconic moments of our history, the silver screen. For thousands of years, the closest a society could get to its past was memorabilia. The spoils of war won in battles decided centuries ago, hand-me-downs from now distant relatives, or anachronistic paintings of kings and queens no longer in power. But advances in technology and a burgeoning new sector of American culture saw everything change and fast. With the rise of the American film industry, powerful figures like John Wayne and his iconoclastic portrayal of the strong and silent type dominated cinemas, and in the early 20th century, a new genre of film was to rev the engine of one of American culture's most respected and long-standing tropes in film and television, the gunslinger. Just who is that strange man walking into town? A violent yet nonchalant kick of the saloon doors confirms that this stranger is none other than the protagonist of your average western, tall, dark, and sporting a bandolier. The archetypal borderline anti-hero was an all-too-common and celebrated portrayal of the idyllic American man. In the 41 years between 1926 and 1967, over 4,000 of these westerns were produced, accounting for roughly one-fourth of all films ever made to that time. With the immense popularity and a strong cultural connection of Americans to the western genre, the biographical details of such western legends as Bat Matheson, Billy the Kid, and Jesse James, and others were less concerned with the veracity than intrigue. From personality to attire, the accurate portrayal of the gunslingers of late was nowhere to be found, not even in the rolling dunes of Arizona towns showing films of heroes that just decades earlier gave the western genre its most iconic stories. In one of his most famous depictions of the 1960s, Jesse James, played by Arch Johnson, confronts Hollywood Yellowbelly Rance McGrew, played by Larry Blyden, for his cowardice and inability to quote, outdraw a crayon, in the famous Twilight Zone episode Showdown with Rance McGrew, 1962. Throughout the episode, James chides McGrew for the massive disparity between McGrew's portrayal of Jesse James while the cameras are rolling and the contemptible city slicker McGrew turns out to be. Twilight Zone creator and head writer Rod Serling remarks in his opening narration, Some 100 odd years ago, a motley collection of rough mustaches galloped across the west and left behind a raft of legends and legernomates. It seems a, a reasonable conjecture that if there are any television sets have been cowboy heaven, and any of these rough and woolly nail eaters could see with what careless abandon the names and exploits are bandied about, they're very likely turning over in their graves, or worse, getting out of them. Westerns dominated American popular culture for almost a century, so why is it that throughout the entirety of the popularity of the Western that no depiction of the gunslinger was historically accurate? Author and psychologist William Indyk believes he has the answer. In his book, The Psychology of the Western, How the American Psyche Plays Out on Screen, Indyk notes that the first true hero stories of the frontier were born of the biological and biographical epics of legendary figures such as Daniel Boone, Kit Carson, and Davy Crockett. 
These highly fictionalized biographies represented the first attempts of American writers at establishing a national hero based on the frontiersman persona. The rugged and independent frontier hero was mythologized into an archetype in 19th century literary epics set on the western frontier. All I have to do now is establish a, chrono a chronology of fictionalized biographies of western heroes, a little bit of the truth, and then a conclusion in why people mythologized western heroes instead of just saying that they were that they were dudes so mm -hmm. and i've got those here so all i gotta do is type some stuff out i've already done all the rest of the research and it's gonna be awesome i think and it's really good so far thank you i really like i got a 31 on my english act but i've never thought that i was that good of a writer because really? i don't talk to people very good because oh. i don't english so it's nice to but I've, I've, I've worked on this all week, so I'm super proud of it. And it's only like three paragraphs, but... Really? Oh. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, you matter, I love you, and have a great day.